Hi there. Now for the last part of this question, we were told that the heights of a population of women are normally distributed with a mean of mu and standard deviation sigma centimetres. And we found out that mu was 167.648 and so on, and the standard deviation sigma was 8.2976. Now we're told that a woman is chosen at random from the population and we've got to find the probability that she is taller than 160 centimetres for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, you can either fast forward as usual just to check the answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all then, I'd want to put on our distribution here this observed value of 160 centimetres. Now, I know the mean, mu, is 167, basically, so therefore 160 is going to be on the left of it. So I'll just put it, say, there, that this is the observed value, x, which is 160 centimetres. So we're looking for the probability that she's taller than this. In other words, that is represented by the area that I'm shading now to the right of 160. And it takes up more than half of our diagram here. So we'd expect that probability to be more than 0.5. So it's a good idea just to have a rough idea because Sometimes when you're looking up in tables, if you use tables rather than the calculator, it's easy to trip up. Now what we do is we extend this, project it down onto our standardized normal distribution curve. And this area here is exactly the same as this area that I'm shading here now. OK, and it's that area then that we're trying to find out. And we'll call that Z. Now, we know that Z is always connected to any observed value through this transformation. Z equals X minus the mean mu, all divided by the standard deviation sigma. So using that, we should be able to work out what that corresponding Z is. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll say that Z will equal the observed value, which is 160 minus the mean, which we've seen here is 167.648 and so on. Do use the unrounded versions in questions like this, OK? It does make quite a big difference. And then this is all divided by the standard deviation. Remember, this is the variance. The standard deviation is just 8.2976, OK? And so on. So if you do this division, what you should find is that you get z to be a negative number, which is what we'd expect, being on the left of 0. And it's minus 0 0.9217 and so on. Remember, this represents the number of standard deviations, that this value here of 160 is below the mean. It's just slightly less than one standard deviation below. So therefore, working out the probability that the height of the woman, that's that random variable x, is greater than 160, is exactly the same as working out the probability that z is greater than minus 0.9217, and so on. OK? Now, we need to use tables or our calculator. If I take you through tables first, then you'll be looking up in the cumulative distribution tables for a normal distribution, often written as phi of z. It gives us the probability of being less than a z value. Notice the position of this z value, though, for tables like this. It's to the right of 0. So we have to use symmetry here. We've got this value of z here, which is negative 0.9217. If we mirror it over the other side here, then this area would be exactly the same as this area to the left of z being 
the positive value of 0.9217. So this is exactly the same as the probability of z being less than the positive equivalent of 0.9217 and so on. And we can look this up in these tables. They're not that accurate, but we'll have to get 0.92 from these tables here. So we're looking at this value here and the corresponding probability of being less than it, okay, 5z, is 0.8212. So that's going to give us 0 0.8212. And you might want to round that up to say three significant figures, in which case it'll be 0 0.821 to three significant figures, 3SF. Okay, that's the way you could do it with the tables. I'll now show you how you could do it with a calculator. Now here I have a Casio 991ES Plus calculator. You might have a calculator that will also do normal distribution questions, work out the probabilities. But so easy if you have one of these. What you need to do is you just make sure that the mode is in stats mode. At the moment it's in maths mode. To get into stats mode, just press the mode button here. Select number three for stats, so select three. And then just come out of this menu by pressing AC. You can see that we're in the stats mode now. To get the normal distribution up, we need to get this function here, stats distributions. So we press shift and then one. And we want to select number five for distributions. So we select five and we've presented with this menu. And Providing we've got a z value, which we have, our z value now is minus 0.9217, we want the area to the right of it. And that is given by using this function number 3 here. So we just press 3, up comes the function r. We need to enter negative, okay, 0 0.9217, close the bracket, and press equals and there's our probability of being more than that value 0.82166 you can see it's close to the one that we used with tables but uh, slightly out but I, this one here is a little more accurate actually rather than the tables so there we go a couple of ways of working that out then